In this video, I'll cover how to use a button in Tinkercad. Start by going to the dashboard. Make sure you're on circuits. Choose create new circuit. Title this. Then go to this drop down menu and choose Arduino underneath starters. And I'm gonna insert this preset right here called button. I'll click on it once, then click once again in my canvas. And if I click on start simulation and I press this button, I can see that it controls my built-in LED. So when I press it, it turns it on. When I let go of it, it turns it off. So we'll hit stop simulation and we'll click on code and um, we'll evaluate these blocks here. And so here you can see that um, this comment says button turns on and off in uh, a light emitting diode or LED. Um, this right here, comment, this comment says read the state of the push button value. Um, this right here is setting button state, which this is called a variable. Um, and you can rename your variable, you can delete it. Um, so it's saying um, this variable, and a variable is kind of like a box. So set this box called button state to read digital pin. So it reads this pin number here, and it's gonna read this pin and indicate whether it's high or low. And then beneath this um, variable that is continually reading, because remember everything that's in this right here section will loop continuously over and over and over. It's gonna constantly be reading to see what the value of button state is. Is the button state high or is it low? So when I press the button right here, it's going to read it as high and then when I let go of it it's going to read it as low and then there's an if block right here an if else block and it says right here in this if statement if the variable button state which is the thing that's reading it is equal to high so when it is high when this is detecting it is high or it's detecting that this button is being pressed if this is true then right so the contents within this section of the if happens if this is true set built in LED to high, turn on this LED. Else, which is, you can also say otherwise, turn off the LED. So again, this only happens in the else statement. This happens if the if condition is false. This happens if the if condition is true. So I'm gonna hit start simulation again. It's gonna constantly be reading the uh, pin two here and storing it into button state. So button state right now at this point is just low. That's why it's off, the built-in LED is off. Then when I press the button here, this button state is gonna be high, which then this would be true. If button state is high, it's gonna turn on my LED. So I'll hit stop right here. And we're actually gonna do something a little bit more complicated, which is we are going to click on code here and we're gonna try uh, controlling an external LED. So I'm gonna click on to, uh, this drop-down menu right here. I'll go to basic, I'll insert an LED, and I'm going to take this um, leg of my LED, which reads cathode, and that should go to ground. And because it's ground or negative, I'll select this wire and make this black. And then this positive side would go into one of these pins. And because I'm only going to turn it on or off, it can go into any of these pins. It doesn't need to go into a specific analog pin. But before I do that, I need a resistor. And without a resistor, I have the potential to burn this or break this LED because it's too much power. So this will right here decrease the current that flows through the LED. And I can rotate this by clicking on one of these, this icon right here to rotate it. I can also press R on my keyboard. And then I'll just connect this right here, anode leg to my resistor and then from my resistor to a specific pin. I'll bring it to pin 7. And again you can adjust after you draw. Okay and so if I press start simulation right now and I press this button you'll see that it controls only the built-in LED. So I have yet to code it to control this external LED. So I'll do that right now. I'll hit stop simulation. I'll click on code <clears throat> and <clears throat> right here if my button state is equal to high meaning it's sensing that I'm pressing this button 
I want it to control not the built-in LED, but rather this one right here, which is plugged into pin 7. So I can take this black right here that controls the built-in LED and delete them. And then insert this one right here, which I can set to control a specific pin 7 to high only when the button is pressed. And set this, button, this uh, pin right here to low if this is false when the button is not being pressed. So I can press start simulation now. And then when I press this button now, my external LED should light up. So you can kind of see uh, that the LED is a little dim. So if I click on my resistor right here, I can change the resistance of it. And by default, it's set to one kilo ohm. Um, and I want to set this right here back to ohms. And then this one should be 220, which is common for a red LED. And then when I uh, stop my simulation and start it again, and then I press my button, my LED should be brighter. And that's how you use a button.